Hey everybody, Danny here from Chasing Bones Inspector. So you want to be a paranormal investigator? Fantastic! Episode number 19. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about Sage. <clears throat> I've had a lot of requests on the proper way of saging and all that. Um, there's many, 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 many different ways to do it. Um, so I can't tell you the proper way per se. I can tell you, however, how I would do it, all right, and how I do do it. So, first off, type of sage. Now, depending on who you talk to, it matters a great deal what type of sage. Uh, some like uh, white sage, some like wild sage, some like this sage, that sage, every sage, you know. Um, I'll use a certain type, like I always, well not always, but I mostly pick my sage in the wild. and. Um, just wild sage. Some of it is called grandmother sage, which has, which is kind of a, got a white tinge to it. Um, there's different types of sage, but anyway, I usually use wild sage or grandmother sage uh, because that's what's around here, and I can pick it. Okay. Someone asked me, is incense fine? Sage incense? Of course it is. Um, churches and different religions of used incense uh, for blessings and cleansings and stuff for thousands of years <laughs> so uh, of course incense is fine uh, sage incense would work just as fine as as real sage um, especially if you believe in the cleansing right and especially if that's what you wish to use uh, see because it, it's all about you it's not about it's not about um, just the sage itself the sage is an important tool right but your your belief in, in your strength and your chi energy and your thoughts direct the sage right um, yeah I've used sage uh, in sticks incense sticks before uh, and they've worked fine you know I wouldn't tell you that they work if I didn't try it myself and, and they work fine. Um, churches have used them, like I said, for years and years. It's the scent, really, that, that the spirits don't like. So that's kind of that's kind of why sage is used, is for the scent more than anything else. Now, how do you sage a building? Well, first you close all the windows and doors, right? Except for one. You keep one window open, and the last room or the last place you're gonna go okay then you start at the farthest part of the of, of the apartment or the house or the complex or the garage or whatever you start at the farthest part not your sage and now you want to move the sage back and forth to give it life okay that's what you're doing you're, you're basically giving the smoke life you're giving it energy so you're moving it back and forth so that it will spread everywhere and get everywhere right while you're doing this there's all kinds of ways me i have a little chat i say um say i say i say uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. because when i'm saying it all my thoughts of of what i'm saying is in that thing you know it, it, it's part of it so for me it's become a, a thing that i say and basically what it means um, is all darkness must leave here only light may come here good energy is allowed here um, anything dark must go back where you came from uh, love light blessings all that kind of stuff all those type of thoughts that's what I'm saying and then uh, you can hum a happy tune at that point you know go, hum, 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 hum. because happiness and joy and all that stuff uh, pushes out dark right so do a little happy tune and then say you know uh, love light and peace is only allowed to allowed here you know so that's the best way to do it anyway so you'd go to the we'd go to one room and say I call upon the angels, I call upon all good good spirits to get rid of the dark spirits. 
Love, light, and peace are only allowed here, right? And then go to the next place and keep doing it over and over again. But make your own, your own way of doing things, right? But basically you want to, you want to stipulate that all darkness must leave and only light and peace can be there. That's basically what it boils down to. And then you go from one room to the other and you keep pushing the smoke towards that, the farthest room. Once you get to the window and you push, you come through the whole place, you get to that open window. You go to the open window and say, all darkness must leave this building and never return. You are now forced out through this window, right? And chase it away. And then just fan it four or five times and then close the window. Okay? So it can't come back in that way. So you close the window right away and then uh, cleanse the window one time. Say, this window is now closed. Any portal or gateway that was here is now closed. Right? And then you're done. That's it. Um, and that will, that will get rid of uh, any of the... Um, negativity that's in the building okay so remember only light love and peace may be here all good spirits you know help get rid of this stuff you know and then uh, this this portal is now closed this doorway is now closed nothing may enter here negative again and then once you close the window you bless the window and say this is now cleansed there's no attachments allowed on this window or whatever you want to say you know something along that line and that's how you sage a, a place, all right? So, can't think of anything else. That's about it, all right? So anyway, you take care of yourselves, take care of your family, watch your hope for ghosts, and have a good day. Oh, and if there's any questions, you know what to do. All right, talk to you soon, bye-bye.